Hi guys, good morning and welcome to this session. This is a very quick session. Um, I was working already and, and just wanted to show you how um, I'm doing this, right? So uh, what I'm trying to do here is create a, an, an EKS cluster that is an elastic Kubernetes cluster, right? I'll be doing videos later to show you uh, some of the things that I'm doing uh, with this cluster. Uh, yeah, deploying applications, deploying, um, you know, YAML definition files, uh, creating ports, uh, and so on and so forth. But I just wanted to quickly show you how I, uh, I'm doing this, right? Um, so it's simple. I'm using a tool called EKS CTO uh, to create this cluster. And this is the simple command I'm using, guys. So I'm using EKS uh, CTO. So this is, this is the tool. EKSCTL is a neat tool. Let me show you a little bit about this tool. So this is um, a tool that is available in your AWS documentation. You can find it here. Uh, you see, to create an Amazon EKS cluster, you can use any of these methods. You can use EKS CTL, Amazon uh, Management Console, or the AWS CLI. So I chose to use EKS CTL, and to use EKS CTL, it's simple. You need, need to have this version installed or the latest version. In your command line tool, right? So this is how you can install install EKS CTO. So if we go to this documentation, should be able to show you, you know, how to to do the installation. Uh, where or am I? Oh, I have too many too many tools here, so it's um, stressing me. To install, you just do uh, to install or update this. Determine whether you have an already installed. So you see if you have something. In a version already available. So you check that with EKS CTL version. And then if you don't have, you can use Brew if you're on, on, on Windows, right? On, on Mac OS, sorry, you can use Brew. Brew tab with this, and then you just do Brew install EKS CTL, and that's it. Brew upgrade if you have a, an upgrade that you want to do, and that's it. You get it installed. If you're on Linux, you go to the Linux uh, tab here, get, get the URL of uh, the tool, of the package is it in zip format, uh, unzip it and move it to that directory, check if you have the version and uh, that's it, you're ready to go. Uh, you just moved it to your to your bin folder, which is where your installation is gone, Linux. And then on Windows, you can do this by using Choco. If you don't have Choco, you have to install Choco to get it installed. So on my system here, I think I use Choco, then you just do install dash Y, EKS CTO and that's it. You can upgrade. Um, you can upgrade the tool. Once you have it installed, the, the only thing you need to do next is um, you know define your 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 EKS CTO. So you put the the command here. This is the command to create, and then you create cluster. So you follow by this option dash dash name, and then you give the name of the cluster. The name of the cluster I'm creating is called Primus Learning. You give the region dash dash region, right? You see this option here, and the region I'm using is US East One. And then you, if you want to create a node group, you define the node group. Node group dash name. The node group name is Linux Nodes, and then the node not group type, the node types that I want is the T2 micro, I want simple nodes. And what number of nodes do I want? I want two nodes. So you have a master a master cluster, you have a cluster. <laughs> they usually call it a master node, but it's redundant. You call it, you have a cluster, and then you have under that cluster, you have two nodes where your, your things will be working. So these are worker nodes that you have. And after creating, you can delete it quickly, right? EKS delete cluster and then you pass the name of the cluster and that's it. Create takes about, I think about 10 or 13 minutes. So you see it's still running here. I just, all I did was copy that command that I, we just formed, brought it here, EKS create cluster and then the name, blah, blah, blah. And then it's running, right? Um, it's running. You see, you can see the information about it. Creating EKS cluster, Primus learning days and region, it defines all the nodes and then it tells you at what state it is and that at this time it's waiting for the CloudFormation stack EKS CTL Primus learning cluster to uh, define the resources. So if you go into AWS, you notice that um, you, you have a stack, right, that is creating. You have a CloudFormation stack with that name Primus learning uh, cluster something which I just showed you earlier, that is deploying. 
Um, so EKS CTL uses a cloud formation stack to be able you know, to um, create those resources for you. So let's go to cloud formation. You see a stack that is being uh, created. So I will make sure we're in US East one, right? Uh, so look at your stacks. Let's see the stack. You see EKS CTL Primus, Primus Learning Cluster. It's being created. So it's complete here. The stack is complete and let's see what's happening. So it's still taking a sweet time here to, to confirm everything. And let's see the resources that are under that stack. If you get into this stack, it's probably still creating the resources. So you can see the event EKS cluster is complete. And let's see if there's a resource already. Yes, there is a cluster resource here. We have a node group. Um, we have a few things that are already in place. It's created a whole lot of things here that we can see in our resources. And then the output, you can see the, the air end of, of whatever is created here. See, you can see uh, some of the details. And then you can also see parameters that were used and a lot more, uh, the template that is used in creation. So you can actually copy this template and create a resource on your own from cloud formation. So guys, let's move to uh, um, the EKS dashboard, EKS dashboard, which is this one right here, quick one here. Um, I didn't want to do a video this morning. I just, as I was running this, I thought I could record this. Uh, it may help someone out there. Uh, so give us, give us some comments on what you think at the end of this. Uh, so it used the version 1.2.1. We'll have to update to the latest version um, at some point, right? So we'll do an upgrade and show you how you can upgrade your EKS clusters in your environment, you know, without having to, um, uh, you know, have some downtime that will affect your workloads. So you can see the resources that are available here and you can see the cluster is running, the Primus Learning cluster is running. These are some resources. This is a compute. So under compute, you will see the two nodes will appear. Uh, so the node groups, we remember the node groups group we defined, right? It was Linux nodes. And we said the desired capacity is two, right? So it doesn't have any nodes running. So it, because what AI is still creating, right? It's creating all those resources. <laughs> yeah, guys. So that's it. The status is active here. I think things should be getting ready uh, in a moment. So let's see, um, okay. So we don't have any ports that are running. We don't have any workloads that are running under this. This is where you would see workloads that are running. For instance, you have ports, you have replica sets, you have deployments, you don't have any deployment. We have stateful sets, you have daemon sets, you have job, you have cron jobs and so on and so forth. Once we deal, uh, I'll show you um, in our next videos, how to deploy uh, Kubernetes um, ports, how to deploy deployments, how to do stateful sets and all those things. Um, in, in Kubernetes, guys. So our closed, our nodes are not yet up. Why? Because they are still um, taking their sweet time, still creating. Mm, so it's taking a moment. You see the status, status here is still uh, creating. So let's give it a moment to, you know, finish creating stuff, and um, we'll get we'll get going. So yeah, it's still creating. Uh, so as I said, it takes about. 13, 13, 10 to 15 minutes to create this stack and to complete to complete the creation of um, EM, uh, the EKS cluster, not EMR. I've been working with EMR so much so, so that everything for me is almost um, EMR. Yeah, uh, so this is it, guys. This is how you create your cluster. This is, this, this is ECR. These are related services to EKS because you'll be running uh, images, um, you could store your images in EKS and then you're running against this cluster, which is neat. Uh, but yeah, we'll be showing you all of those things um, as we go along. So hit the subscribe button, follow us, follow our YouTube ch uh, channel, follow our videos. We usually would have very insightful uh, videos for all of us. All right, guys, so let's come back here to see what, what's happening with our resources. Mm, nothing. <coughs> So still 15 minutes ago. Yeah, so it's it's just about time. It's almost it should be rounding off with creation. It's just almost, ah, 
node, this node is ready. Okay, so it's voila, our 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 EKS cluster called Primus Learning is ready. And it's in this region and everything has been defined. You can see some of the definitions. It tells you uh, your node group Linux 2 has, has two nodes. It tells you some of the details. So let's go back to our console here and refresh. We should be seeing really neat things happening um, uh, with our two nodes uh, existing. Oh, compute nodes, come on, you guys have to be available. All right, resources, let's go to resources, go back. And so it's still taking a sweet time to appear here. Let's go back. All right, go back to resources, go back to compute nodes, still no nodes available. And it says still creating, oh, it's active. So we have Linux desired, Linux nodes, let's see, maybe. Hmm. Nodes, oh, let's see. No nodes. Okay, so it's still taking a sweet time. Anyway, this is this is all I wanted to show you guys. We'll, we'll, we will show you how to create resources inside, um, inside this cluster right here uh, in our next videos. The nodes should be coming up in a moment from now. Uh, yeah, so it's quick. You can create your resources really quickly using um, EKS CTL. EKS CTL is, is the big boy um, in terms of creating EKS clusters. Of course, you can use Terraform. We will show that in other videos, but today we just wanted to quickly show you how we're doing it um, for this particular um, for this particular uh, cluster. So EKS CTL create cluster, dash dash name, Primus Learning, a region, you define a region, node group, you define a node group, Linux nodes, node types, give the node types, and then a node, the, the desired capacity, you provide a number of nodes that you want. And that's, that's what we did guys. And you can see the results are, it's given us, and you can see the nodes are running. So if you go to, um, if you go to EC2, you should be able to see those nodes actually running. So if you go to EC2, you should see two nodes um, because they are, yeah, EC2 um, nodes and they, they should be running. Okay, let's wait and see what's happening here. All right, we have five nodes running while well, there are other workloads that are running in this account. So you can see guys, our nodes are ready and running. These are the two nodes, Primus Learning Nodes, Nodes node, Primus Learning Nodes node. And you see those are the two nodes that are running. Um, just so you guys see, I have some Sonar Cube stuff that's running in here, but uh, what I wanted to show you are the two nodes uh, at this time. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave us your comments and um, let us know uh, what you feel, what you want us to talk about, and we'll be glad to, um, you know, record sessions uh, just targeting uh, exactly what you need. Thanks and have a great day.